back now. The BS has to up us up, but the damage is already done. The Slark will spill first blood. They keep shifting out the S with the shard block. You've got more cry available now from Jalopy. It's not a rune to grab as well. And now, in fact, uh, our style is going to move down south. LC was a long way down. Here comes your snowball. Witch Doctor, this time around, he's keeping his distance. And he can follow with that paralyzing task. It's slowing him down, but uh, VS. Once he got pounced like that and leashed. So it's just... I guess it's still pretty good considering yeah, how much he's been zoned out. Arsal's going to slow somebody down, he's looking for an opening, and it's going to be Viva. They focus over on that Wish Doctor, one support after another. The Sunstrike from Denny is actually what gets the kill. And with the shards blocked up, we go for more damage. Lark will take one, Denny takes the other. He doesn't even have to leave them. They're not going to die, but each time, it's just the position that they're in. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> Being that far out against the Kentris is just certain death in general. Finally, looks like he might go down here with that cast. Stormbolt, everything committed, he is dead. There's finally that rotation. Yeah, during the laning, like when you're actually around to call oh, our style top lane, perfect wraparound. Just another free kill on Jellope. And that sounds better combo. Uh, I, no way. They don't have swap yet, though. One charge would give him a little bit of space for his last attack from our style. Yeah, it's gonna reach. <laughs> That's also going to be our style. Nice little timing there in between the Midas and uh, like plus one item there for Dendi, as well as whatever big item they want to bring out for Ditira. Jellipy, God strength, top lane, right on top of General. Cast flying through. Going to mess missile as well. And, oh, that's a, a little bit of deja vu, but he's been having a much better game so far. LC was just waiting for it, really. I've been waiting for the last 30 seconds before I started checking out the other lanes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then they, and uh, then they made. Uh, it's. The one moving to the front lines. He doesn't have a heal available. And now with the wave of terror. Oh, now nah, being caught with their pants down. The follow up stun with a sun stress. The first damage was just so quick. Even with that spike, Carapace are returning a lot of the damage. And the paralyzing cast. They just can't get the space. Finally, did it rough. He's going to get himself some revenge. The charge off target. Snowball will still bounce through three players of LC. It's a two for one trade off. And the rest of the. Like I'd say I'll place it, and it's really hard to tell as to where he placed it because of this Observer Ward. It might have been in range, since it was definitely in range of the sentry. I think the Observer Ward could see this as well, although it's kind of hard to tell. Last hit, Catapult was, st was still connecting. VS was on the mark, art style. In lane. Gets the mana style, the follow up stun, and now they can finally swing him down. Try to get off. That LC, they're up on the top lane. Pushing into the T1 tower, you got an Invis Kefka moving with the blink four, gets a double stun and the double mana burn. And now Jalopi, no, the snowball ends up protecting. They still need more damage. While Meanwhile, up on the top lane, the battle's going up here with Solid. The swap out, and then the TP general's gonna stop him from escaping, but it's down the bottom lane where they wanted Dendi and gonna catch him. That's all it takes to kill you? That would call that probably the Shadow Blade if he, he wants some damage. Power push speed from Na'Vi is so slow. It's actually that giving time for Ulti to rotate towards the mid. And one, kill up to make go, he doesn't have Snowball. Uh, but LC can do considerable damage to this mid tap. It's easier once he's got that BKB done. It's that considerable damage I was talking about to the tower just above the Nye range. Best time to pull back. They Thunder God's Wrath. It's uh, to reveal the Bat Rider on the top. With the Death Ward, they're going to have more than enough damage to kill Dyer's off General. Top tower is under attack. <laughs> General, Radiance say goodbye to yourself. Start with the Mana Burn. He's wanting to make sure he can't blink himself away. You've still got that son of Marvel. It's going to connect, maybe not. Let's the ulti go, but Denny with a great deafening blast. With the meteorite, LC are just burning to death. Maybe not. He tries to TP out, but Tuscar shot perfectly on position. There's the Witch Doctor, and that's what he's playing for, but he can't really reach it. Slark, however, okay, yeah, they're just going to go for this. Penance forward with the snowball stun, the paralyzing cast into the death ward. He actually hits the damage out. Milk ends up killing off the Slark and the restoration kill. He's duking the, the sun strike. He that actually doesn't get hit by the sun strike either. What a play. Now to the mid lane. Arsal, watch this slur. Pack. Fuck this. Pack. There you go. down. I mean, it looked like he was trying to go for the kill onto the Slark. One of the ghost strengths straight away, but now, okay, maybe not wait. It's an Aiko evaporates from the fight. Shira also being revealed out with that vault. They're gonna drag it back in again with a swap. Two heroes down very, very quickly. They can mop up these. Yeah, this is LC. Done. 
It's surprising how much vision Galvi still have considering they're also up against the Zeus. Uh, like Baby Knight not checking up on this high ground would be uh, a decent reason as well. Like if you're looking to a fight, you don't want to be burning all your mana as well. But nope. Denny's going to have a very good idea that he's all alone because of this up top. Wow, that was just puffed. Zero added enough pressure to the Nyx Assassin, try to dodge in a different direction, and then the Sun Strike hit perfectly. So the Nyx Assassin goes down, Zero tries to run away, he's gonna get stunned up. There was no, uh, no Dark Pack being triggered, so they just have to keep running around and swap back over. Now goes through Shadow Dance, the Sentry Ward's being placed, but obviously they don't see that in the Death Ward. Zero's down far attack. enough, they're using the Courier just to scout him out. They almost lost that oh, Courier, but Ben blinked himself forward. Enough damage to finish the job. Here. This should be yeah. easy bloody murder. Just gonna attack him once. Wait for him to get to a bit. And uh, there you go. Our style will die. Uh, our style should. Yeah, he will die. He will such a case lost the TP. Then Zeus can go for a secondary set of nukes. God. Obviously been burned, right? Yeah, it is gone now. <laughs> wow. Alright. That's just really, really bad. For them. Uh, the Rod's gonna die anyway. Uh, but Jalopy, oh. uh, he walked up to the top rune, and he... After Dragonlance, moving in towards the BKB, is actually ready to fight and show off, like, the whole enchantress that we know as being one of the more powerful heroes of this patch. Oh, nice, burning that mana meets no shadow dance, and Dishiron just gets blown up by Jalopy. <laughs> that was perfect. Looking for a kill on the bottom lane. It's Fireflies, four seconds off cooldown, and there goes your Yule Scepter. Defensive from the Nyx Assassin. Goes directly for the spy carapace, so looking for the oh, for the swap, but um, uh, it comes a little too early. Actually, dodging the stun, you lose a bat rider, and Roshan also also taken. Yeah, pretty efficient across the map. So both teams are getting a little bit out of what they want to. Uh, Kefka, is he gonna go? Yep, spy carapace. The last two is still down there. Denny wants a quick kill, and they're not gonna get it. You'll set her up, but Dira, he's now gonna arrive. Nyx assassin into the mid. Oh, Who Invoker gets destroyed. Ben arrived at the perfect god strength here. And look where Kefka goes. Far is on the hillside, throws down the observer ward, Roshan's already dead. And now there's two cheeses on the side of LC. Stack both on uh, the Venge. Okay. Like, I, I know they had two cheeses. <laughs> Middle lane. Just gonna, uh, like, wrong, pass well. Well, look at that swap range. A long jump back to the Sineko, the Paralyzing Castle bouncing around, but the Ventral Spirit oh, goes your first cheese. It's on cooldown, however, because of this stack, but they still get the- It's gonna be a lot of pressure on Dendi in general, like... Jeez, he hasn't even played Batrider this game, you know? Just move around the map and turn the freeze. Still need to pick. Dendi Rar is currently being caught out. Some strikes there, they want to hold him in position, but then- oh! <laughs> The big double done! The help arrived from the Thunder God! You can really do the soul, it's up to pop, throwing in a flame break. Yeah, they can start a jewelry shop up in the dark fountain. They, they left a gem there. Like, <laughs> the Batrider dropped one, but they just left it. Another quick oh, jump. Nice play. That's not, not gonna connect. Now you see the power of art style. Look for that bonus damage. As this Ven does take a hell of a lot of it. And did he He's run? Gonna the BKB. BKB. They try and go in for this one. The Dead War, however, is gonna pull out a lot of physical damage. But then the dump from Snake cancels that one off. Are they gonna get through the rest of it? Yep, they do. They actually get through this Ven. Then he keeps moving forward. The side of the fight's being used to keep the boost out of the play. So he can't just spam out whatever he's got. They've gone through three players here of LC. Did he run moving over? He's got so much effort shifted. And now he's gonna use all of it to kill off Baby Knight. Unless they go for more, in fact, they leave Baby Knight alone. They burn the Aegis of the Immortal. It's only 12 vessels, I thought he had a lot more than that, but now Baby Knight's under God's wrath. The stun is dead. Nyx Assassin trying to help out as much as he possibly can inside that agony. Wow. Except the Baby Knight just manning up. The snowball will protect him for a moment. Kefka, who's he want to go on? He mana burns over towards the Slark, blinks with the stun, and the Slark will go down. 105 seconds on the sideline. Denny's down, could have got himself a four man stun, so. It's true. That was. That's great. I can't Radiant believe we have a Zeus and a Nyx Assassin currently attack. taking buildings. What is happening this game? And Jelfie, like, this is that whole threat we talked about, though, is that he blinked in for that initiation, he missed it, 
I mean, the general got to live, and then he got punished. Right? He didn't DKB during the EMP, and after that, like, what are you gonna do in the fight? You don't have any mana, he was forced to retreat. Oh, nice swap. Uh, so I was gonna use the BKB, but obviously, oh, uh, VS has killed himself by doing this. Arnstyle, he doesn't have enough mana, he can't impede us anymore! And then Nick's assassin, he hides in the spy carapace, tough friends are killing himself too! That's the Chandra's buyback, the mid ranks is down, there's still 5 seconds until Dendi is up. But LC will take out the mid ranks. They've still got Radiant Satanic Tunnel. available as well as God Strength, so yep, they're not gonna back out. Radiant Death Wants back off cooldown. Now the Blink Lasso. General finds the opening, but the Paralyzing Cast is gonna turn that around. Dendi into the BKB, but the Death Ward, the Death Ward did everything. Dendi just all. <laughs> he can do except die the sun's available the fault thunderbolt can be thrown out this is practically gg at this point when you're losing two lanes of practice they can't afford to lose dandy but he just fought back the only thing which is going to save navi there well emp follow-up burns off a decent amount of manner of, manner of this van but zeus doesn't care he got so much to spare anyway but the tier four towns are almost gone tusker up in five what do they got coming in the courier? It's just a hyper stone for art style. Oh, and then he stuns up. That's it. That could be it. The snowball protection. No, Dendi's down. They've lost too much damage. The tough guy won't be able to retreat out properly. They've lost too many heroes. The fortress is gone. And GG LC will be now the team to be undefeated in the Dota pit. The second group of Europe. And Na'Vi, not only did they lose one game, they lose their entire series they're still in a very commanding position in the grid they're still in a very commanding position in the grid. They, they had they had three straight wins uh with this now london conspiracy will go up to six points that's after two games they are